A tense community meeting tonight in Watts. Police say Atlas Metals is sending pieces of shrapnel onto local school grounds. They're worried children are being exposed to toxic chemicals. KCAL 9's Leslie Marin is live in Watts with more on the meeting. Leslie. Well, Juan, it's not the first time they're holding meetings like this or even protests. We have seen it in the past, but today was about rallying the community together that may not know about the issue or may have questions about the issue in hopes of potentially shutting down or relocating this metal recycling plant that they say poses a health risk, not only to students, but also to people living in the area. Now, this is video of the issue. You can see Jordan High School, home to 1,000 Watts students and their neighbor, S&W Atlas Iron and Metal Company. For years, activists have talked about the mounds of scrap metal that oftentimes is broken down into shards and lands on school grounds. A school district lab test revealed dangerous levels of lead and other metals were found on campus, an amount 70 times higher than the Environmental Protection Agency defines as hazardous. Yet today, that recycling plant is still running right next to the school. At today's town hall in Watts, we heard from scientists, activists, and a student, Senior Genesis, says she wonders what impact the levels of lead will have on her health. I would always see Atlas, and they would always be moving stuff around and, like, you know, doing what they do, making noise. And I never really thought to think, what is this doing here? We can't keep letting these corporate organizations or industrial organizations, um, you know, belittle us just because we're from Watts. Well, LAS, LAUSD has filed a lawsuit against SNW Atlas, but as you know, the court process can take a while. And activists, as well as Genesis, who you just heard from, are hoping that this plant can shut down or be relocated by the time she graduates. Reporting live from Watts, Leslie Marine, KCAL 9 News.